Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In this session, we are going to create variable coverage profile. So let's just start today's session. So what is a plan coverage? So coverage define monetary amount available to enrollment participant in the event of claims such as a uh, for life insurance or disability. So now new coverage calculation can be entered based on how you have created them. They could be a flat amount, they could be a multiple of a participant's pay, it just depend on how you want the system to recognize what that amount is. Okay, and what is the coverage calculation so coverage calculation define the coverage amount available to the participants you can define coverage calculation for items such as a life insurance or ad and d plans disability plans to calculate the coverage so you are going to apply a calculation method to the values you define or ones that are entered by the participant during the enrollment Okay, so let's just move on to the application where we are going to perform this task. So you have to log in as a implementation user. Now go to the benefit administration and then go to the plan configuration option. Here you have to click on the rates and coverage option. Then go to the variable coverage profile and make sure to not uh, click on the variable rate profile. Do not confuse with the variable rate profile. We are creating here variable coverage profile. Okay. And from here, you can change your effective start date if you want. Otherwise, just click on the create option. And here you have to fill your profile name. Uh, fusion age reduction six to five percent at. 65. Okay, and here uh, we have to select the activity type. So it indicates whether it is a contribution or distribution made by the participants or the employer. Example are employee individual contribution, employer matching plan contribution, and employer distribution. So here we have to select according to our preference so here we are going to add the plan contribution and we have to define the rate frequency here so rate frequency is monthly and uh, we have to set the status as active and here we have to also define the tag rule type so what is the uh, tax rule type for this coverage profile it's after tax or non-taxable or not applicable pre-tax or the taxable so here we are going to define the after tax and then select the sub uh, treatment rule so here uh, how you want to treat this coverage profiles add to multiply by replace or subtract from so here we are going to select the subtract from and from here under the eligibility profile field, we are going to add our eligibility profile. So we are going to add age. using age less than or equal to 65. Okay, now under the calculation method, here you can see there is a various kinds of method. There is a flat amount. So flat amount is the predefined or entered during the enrollment. Then um, we have the flat amount 
plus multiple of compensation. So it calculate coverage as a flat amount plus multiple of a compensation. And we also have a multiple of compensation. So it calculate coverage as a multiple of compensation. And uh, uh, here we also have calculate for enrollment formula or the user value. So now here what we are going to do, we are going to add the flat amount or uh, for this purpose, we can also select the multiple of compensation. So we can select here the multiple compensation and also we are going to define multiplier by the 0.65 here and then we have to uh, select the multiple of compensation so we have to select the operator here so it's a multiply by then we have to select the compensation factor so it's a annual stated compensation Now here you can see the other option, the limits and the ultimate calculated limits. So uh, in the limits, uh, we have to enter values to define the minimum or maximum amount of coverage available under this plan or option. So regardless of the coverage calculation result, and we have also the ultimate calculation limits here. So you can set a maximum or minimum limit of the coverage amount irrespective of the calculated result. Uh, for example, the ultimate high limit value sets the absolute maximum total when the add to treatment rule is selected. So whereby the variable coverage profile total is added to the main coverage calculation. So here you also define the limit and ultimate calculation limit for your coverage profile, but I'm not going to define here and then I'm just going to click on the save and close option. So this is how we can create our variable coverage profile under the benefit module. Once uh, it's saved, so we have to search here if it's created or not. So you can see here we created this. Okay. So I hope this method is clear to you how we can create the variable coverage profile under the benefit module. So thank you so much for watching the video.